Rickenbacker and welcome to Rick and Box Office where it looks like Ant-Man 3 uh, it dropped a huge at the second weekend box office and Coke and the Bear whoa this movie is doing quite well on its opening weekend grabbing 23 million dollar and I saw during the weekend this movie Coke and Bear was trending all weekend on Twitter so now people saw this movie and they're tweeting about it and uh, yeah let's see what is happening this weekend so first we'll be looking into this movie called cocaine bear and this movie it is directed by elizabeth bank yes i can believe it elizabeth bank after you know she had really a hard time with the charlie's angel after that movie she's still directing that i didn't know so looks like she did got success in this movie so this movie it is cost to make like this movie's budget is 35 million dollar and this movie i will say doing okay on rotten tomato score uh you know sitting around 70 percent both from the critic and the audience ain't bad and i saw although critic really like this movie sounds like but i see some audience likes it some don't uh, but this movie doing this well at overall box office i think is quite good Although I don't know if it's a huge hit yet because this movie still has a long way to go. But looks like this movie sitting on right now as of today, uh, it did grab $23 million at the domestic market. And the international market, this movie grabbed $5 million, total of $28 million. And uh, I, th I feel like Universal, it paid them off for, you know, they did buy the... Uh, there's a big game spot uh, that which could have, which was quite expensive probably you know buying that uh, TV spot uh, for this movie so it looks like it did paid off I uh, honestly I always knew this movie gonna do uh, well at the opening weekend because of the trailer looked really highly energetic while well, this movie isn't my cup of tea but I see people are enjoying this movie that is said yeah. Ant-Man and the Wasp, it dropped quite huge on a second weekend. Looks like it dropped to 69%, which is, oh, I'm quite surprised uh, because I thought uh, this movie will be a little bit, like it will make a little bit more. Uh, I guess it not. It just opened to $32 million this weekend, and uh, which is huge, I guess. It's, it's nothing for MCU movie, uh, grabbing only $32 million on a second weekend. Then again, you know, Ant-Man and the Wasp, for some reason, this movie never created any buzz. Like this movie, people are not excited about this movie at all. Although the trailer, uh, I think the trailer were mildly hit. But I think for some reason, people were not into this movie. Uh, that is, yeah, this movie dropped 69% on its second weekend. It is sitting on domestic total is $167 million, $67 million. And international, it is grabbing uh, $196 million total. It is sitting and uh, worldwide market is $363 million. And I bet... Uh, Kevin Feige, MCU, Disney, they're probably looking at this number. They are, they got to be disappointed because end of the day, this movie was uh, expensive. I think it did cost to make $200 million and looks like it might not even cost $500 million. Problem with this movie, as I was saying, nobody was really never excited about this movie. Like, these people are just not into this movie. Like any video i made like you know i'm a small channel but i never got any traction for this movie like people are just not into this movie you know so that's why i don't think it will cross 600 million dollar uh i don't know if even it can cross uh 450 at this point uh because it already looks like domestic market is done for this movie uh which is makes me sad because i was i am still excited to see this but looks like this movie maybe uh it's not worth seeing in theater because word of mouth for this movie is really bad. That is what looks like I'm going to say. And that was my thought on this weekend box office. Let me know in the comment. What do you think about this weekend box office? If you enjoyed this box office video, don't forget to share my other videos on other topics. Please subscribe until I see you next time. Please take care.